here we are, now got these rolls here. I'm just at the top here, because if you look here, we've got about an inch and a half of uh, space in there. So what we're doing, we're undoing all these bolts here. It's now coming in with a teleporter to support this as well. Pull the rolls out, take the bearing off the top, and then put some, uh, some washers in there to pack it out. Right, I've undone the four bolts and the bearing has dropped down one side and we've got this bar here to try and hold it to put it back. Yeah, keep going! What? Right, we managed to get it out now. But the problem is there's a bit of a, a lip around this edge here somewhere. Around here, that's somewhere around here. You can feel it's a bit rough in one or two places. And the bearing won't slide over the top. So he's just getting me the, um, he's just getting me the uh, batch bag grinder so I can, so I can do this. And then, then it should just slide off. This one's put back together. It's got the three spaces in. We've done two, that one's got three spaces in. And the other one, the other side's got three spaces in, but I haven't got any more spaces. Well, I've got, I've got one more. So what we're doing on the front ones, this hasn't been put together properly yet, because you take, if you go to this one here, you have those special things in, then you have, along there you have a couple of bolts holding together, so you undo the bolts. Then we're, on this one, we've put an extra spacer in, that my uh, neighbor have got, one, uh, got some of them. These spacers, if you look at this top one, that isn't in properly yet, so he got, he got them. So we put them in, but you have to find some uh, longer bolts. So yeah, he got rid of his, he had some cousin rolls and he got some spares for them and he got rid of it. His rolls, he changed to a different brand now. So he got them left over. So he said I could have them. So, and then there's a little gap in there. I've just got to put one of the thin collars in like we had on the first one. So that'll be continued in uh, next week's video. Yes, it's raining again. Another, at least half an inch. I was going to check about 10 o'clock this morning. So I've got this machine here. This rod here got uh, came unattached from here. I don't know if any of you are regular followers, but a couple of summers ago, more maybe three summers ago, it uh, came off there and I had to rebuild the rod this rod, there's another one over this side, that one down there, and uh, this one came detached and it got caught when it fell down and bent it. So I've got to take this pin off here and I can't straighten it up. I'm gonna to have to get it off and hope to find another rod because down the middle of that, there's loads of um, bolts just to make it stronger. Right, I've got it all to bits. I'll take that end off and I've unscrewed the bit that goes through there. I've cut another bit of rod here. I've welded the, that bit in the bottom there. And now because this is hollow, if you look down there, you can see focus in the middle there. A solid down there. So what I'm doing is this, right? This is, this is the old one and this is the, uh, that bit was bent. So what I did, I managed to cut it and get the, I knocked all the ones out of the straight. So obviously that bit, I can't, the bolts are gonna be bent in there, so I can't use them. So I've just got a few old bolts here. Like this, I'm just simply dropping them inside there till I get up to the top. I ain't got much further to go, another one, I reckon that'll be enough. Right, this is the last bolt here. There we go. I've just got to weld the uh, bit on the end. Right, that's all done now. I've welded that end on. I've also shined this up because this is the sh slide in and out and it only slides into there. So I've only sh sh 
shown half the road up, so and they got to put it back together. Right, what I'm trying to do now is I've trained that up, I'm just going to fire up as slow as it will go and gradually let it down and see when they uh, scraping the ground from here. Most of them, there's the old one or two that are, but I lift it up a bit. But it's so windy up there today. There's nothing scraping at all now. Drop it a tiny bit. I can feel the wind shaking the track. Yeah, not all of it, but there's hardly any uh, any difference at all in them now. So that'll be okay. All I've got to do now is slow it down. There's one of them has only got uh, this one here at the front here. That one there's only got three sets of times instead of four. I've got to get another. I've got the time. I just haven't got the. I haven't got the bolt right to shoot by that, there's a special uh, uh, packing in there, I'll just have to get that. So the other thing I've got to do, which I did last year again, is this, this jet that's got bent again, so I'll take that out before that. Brake lights as well. Yep, yep, and they'll go the right indicator. Yep, and now the left indicator. Yep, everything's working fine. Right, there's another scene just finished. You've seen the, the just on the lights, and there you can see the the leg down there that I've repaired and repainted that red. Just got to grease this grease nib up. There you go. You can see all the grease coming out. So that's another machine done for another year.